Hello Dashers! Welcome to the channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Gina, otherwise known as Ginger Dash. And today I'm going to share with you three truths and a lie. What is the purpose of this game, you say? Eh, games are fun, aren't they? <laughs> I'm doing this to entertain myself just as much as I am doing it to entertain you. By the end of this video, you will most likely easily determine which is which. I'm gonna list four things. Number one, I will be 52 in exactly two weeks. <laughs> the secret there is you don't know what day I'm recording this. I might tell you at the end. All right, number two. Number two is, hmm, I know. I have gained almost 20 pounds over the last year and I am becoming increasingly frustrated by the fact that I can't seem to hmm, budge that number. Number three. Uh, what was number three? Oh, I know. Summer is my favorite season of the year. And finally, number four, it is entirely possible to do too much of a good thing or to have too much of a good thing. When I returned to this channel last fall after taking a hiatus, I talked about well, I touched very briefly on some of my reasons for staying away as long as I did, but one of them is something I haven't shared, and that is for the summer of 2021, I parked my bike and I barely rode it. I moved it a couple of times from one location to another when we had the threat of hurricanes, but for the most part, I did not ride my bike at all. And you're like, what? Wh why? Well, I'll tell you. Because for the hottest part of our summer, which is July, August, and the second half of June, so middle of June through middle of September is for us the hottest time of our summers. And that means we have, to, we have temperatures in the hundreds. High 90s, low hundreds, 110, 114. Now this is including heat index, but if you've never lived somewhere with high humidity, you understand that the more humidity, the hotter it feels. And for me, I bought this motorcycle because I wanted to do something special. I wanted to experience something amazing, and I have, but it also means I want to enjoy it. And for me, going out in weather like that offers me little to no enjoyment. Obviously, if I didn't go out riding, that means I spent a lot of time, the majority of my time, indoors, which meant I became even more sedentary than I already was, which contributed to the weight gain, blah, 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 blah. No, summer is my least favorite <laughs> season of the year. I'll give you that one. That's a freebie. When September rolled around, I decided, you know what? I, I need to make a change. I've got to do something. I've got to put my health and my fitness, I've got to make it a priority. And so as of October 1st, I had determined I was going to go out every single day and I was going to walk at least two miles. Two miles was my goal. I bought a fitness tracker so that I could track my steps. I paid attention to how many times I got up and sat down during the day. I tried to make myself more active and I did go out and walk every single day for two miles. There was a slight interruption for a termite tent, but no, oh, we don't want to talk about that. And then somewhere around the 17th of October, I had gotten a little aggressive with my walking and I had gone from walking two miles to pushing myself to walk three miles and then I walked four miles and then I walked five miles and then my feet said, no, 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 you can't walk at all. I injured myself. I actually injured my feet. I caused an injury that I'm still suffering from now. It's called metatarsalgia, and it affects the metatarsal region of the foot, which is the ball of the foot. It causes pain and swelling. And what it did for me, 
It meant I spent three days over Thanksgiving, that's in November here in the US, on my couch. That was in November. I hurt myself middle of October. The prognosis for healing is six to eight weeks normally. Of course, I'm not normal. It is now almost six months later and I'm still suffering. Uh, my left foot is almost entirely recovered. My right foot is barely recovered at all. And I uh, fear that it may never, ever, ever actually get better. And this was a huge eye opener for me. I have never in my life worried about my mobility and it gave me an incredible amount of empathy for people who deal with mobility issues so much worse than what I have been dealing with. The plus side here is I can still ride. There was a time where I wasn't riding a lot because of my feet. That was within like the first mm, six weeks, I guess. And that's what delayed my return to the channel even more. Huh, I think I'm gonna turn here. But I'm gonna end this video because I think I covered all of my truths and lies, almost. I'm gonna end this video on a high note. This is my favorite time of year, spring. Daylight savings time specifically, because as soon as the clocks, you know, advance an hour, we get an extra hour of daylight. And what that means for me, and what it means for a lot of you, I'm sure, is that you can go out in the evening on a weekday and ride where you couldn't before because it got dark far too early. Yes, we just made a circle. <laughs> I'm into circles today. So here's my question then to all of you. Where are you in the grand scheme of spring? Because I know that the official spring has sprung, but I also know that there are a lot of you who are even farther north than say the northern part of the US that have not yet begun to experience uh, riding weather. How much longer will it be until you ride? When did you start riding? If you've now begun uh, digging your bike out from its, its winter hibernation. And what are the summers like where you live? I'm curious. I grew up in Maryland, as most of you know, and the summers up there could certainly get hot, but we didn't have anywhere near the humidity we have here in Florida. So I was completely unprepared. I just saw a friend on Facebook who was visiting Denver, Colorado for the first time and she said that her hair was still straight after styling it that morning. She had never experienced any sort of location, locale, that did not have humidity. And that was one of the funny things, well, I don't really think it's funny, but I've gotten used to it now. One of the things that was so bizarre to me and so unexpected is when I moved here, uh, you know, I used to have straight, just like stick straight hair. Had that my whole life growing up. I used to get perms. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll have to dig out one of those photos. 80s baby. But I have never had another straight hair day again. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I use a straight iron or not. It ain't happening because the humidity. I don't even know where I was going with that. I've completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> One last thing, I am going to tell you this. I did buy a motorcycle for my birthday two years ago. I am not buying one this year. Although I am not going to lie, I considered it. But I still haven't decided what I want. And to be completely honest, I just don't want to spend the money. I have other things that I need to spend that money on. And well, you know, I'm adulting. I'm being responsible. And I still love my little bike for what it can do, which is allow me to zip around town and enjoy the air. And there you are, my friends. Another video of me babbling about this and that. Some of it is motorcycle related. Some of it is just life. We all have them. We all experience them in different ways. I think this might be a little off to one side, this camera. So 
I guess it means it's a little bit warped just like me. <laughs> and that is all I have for you all this week. Until next time. This is like the perfect night for a ride. It's the perfect night for a ride. It's the perfect night.